Tesla has finally released the FSD full self driving beta 10 with some really impressive improvements and we're going to take a look at some of those videos today at Torque News YouTube channel friends and the first video will be about the zoom out at intersection Tesla Raj shared a video showing an interesting feature of the FSD beta 10 showing how Tesla does the zoom out at the intersection now just as promised by CEO Elon Musk Tesla rolled out the FSD beta 10 to its group of testers as the weekend was starting few videos of the advanced driver system system in action have been shared online so far though comments from some FSD beta testers have indicated that v10 does indeed present some notable improvements compared to the outgoing outgoing v9.2 fsd beta 10 came as part of update 2020.24.15 which featured a set of identical release notes as the outgoing version based on the first clips uploaded on the new release update however it appears that the fsd beta 10 feature uh, featured some ui changes to start with the driving visualization have been cleaned up for one and the icons on the left side of the display have been rearranged for the model 3 and model y so stay with us today i'm going to release i'm planning to release three four different videos and commentaries the first one fsd 10 the first one is by tesla raj tesla raj has this interesting video that you're seeing on your screen screens um it says i really like the zoom out at intersections in full self-driving beta 10 you can see as his vehicle his tesla approaches the intersection the ui really nicely zooms out giving you a nice bird view of how the intersection is you can have a better view this was one of the issues in previous fsd reports not seeing right at intersections and requiring more human interactions and engagements but now you can really have a clear view of how the intersection is uh, and um, you know it's the, you may say it's, this is not a big thing but i think this is a big thing because it's those little things that lift a system from being good to being amazing this is a very helpful it's very helpful to get a good visual overview on crossings where you would probably want to see more around you than necessary on normal roads friends after much anticipation which was created by tweet from elon tesla has released the fsd beta 10 while the download was a few hours later than expected at midnight uh, PDT, um, uh, Pacific uh, Daytime, it is now in cars of FSD beta users. So, like I said, the majority of updates were UI related. While the release notes indicate just bug fixes for this release, updated in this release are some improvements to the lane lines. These look more matured, closer to what would be in a commercial release. Much of the fuzziness has been removed and lines and colors are clearer. In terms of turns, beta testers are reporting improvements to the confidence in performing turns similar to what we have seen between V8 to V9. Now, um, on the highway in this release, on FSD beta 10, in this release, the theory was that we were going to see the same AI-powered vision for a stack power, the highway driving of Navigate on autopilot rather than just city streets. We have now had it confirmed that the visualization is still switching from what we know as the FSD beta UI back to the regular NOA UI. Now, Waypoints Tech AU reports that it has now confirmed that the much anticipated waypoints feature is not included in this release. Now, regarding Tesla's FSD expansion, one of the big questions around this release is the long awaited button to expand the beta user group. Earlier this year, Elon Musk had suggested the group of around 2000 early access beta users would be expanded once the software was ready with version 10 it seems they have reached a confidence level satisfactory to release it to a wider audience. We have also just had confirmed, says TechAU, that new people are receiving the beta. At least one person who was granted access to the early access program via email two weeks ago has now received the download for FSD beta 10. So as you can see, Tesla is very slowly having safety in mind and 
expanding the FSD beta. Uh, so this person has received the FSD beta 10. Elon Musk had suggested the download button would simply show up for anyone who had purchased FSD and enable them to opt into the beta. This has changed over recent weeks and months to be expanded gradually to ensure maximum safety. What we do know is that this will be US only for now. So those of people outside the United States are likely going to need to wait a number of months. Uh, given uh, we are in September now getting access to FSD beta, for example, in Australia before the end of 2021, seems like a stretch at this point. So far, at least, it seems the release is not blowing minds, says Tech AU, but is significantly improved. It is worth remembering that this release was originally going to be version 9.3, but was postponed a week and the version then switched to a V10 release. So I'm going, I'm looking at uh, the uh, general media and Tesla discussion boards where people, among other things, ask if this FSD beta 10 is mind blowing. Then why is it still level two autonomy? Is this good enough for robo taxis? Ben Blackburn explains in Electric's comment section saying he, um, the CAE level refers to the amount of authority the driver is required to have over the car. It does have anything to do. It doesn't have anything to do with the software capabilities. Uh, level two means that it has the ability to control its own speed and steering, but the driver still is required to always watch the road. The car takes no liability. Basically, um, this is Tesla vehicles are currently level two. Level three is where the car takes liability and allows the driver to look away from the road under certain conditions, but the driver has to be in instantly ready to take over if prompted. Now, right now, FSD beta could easily do level three, he says, when in traffic jams, etc. same as the Honda L3 system, but why mess with the regulation when it's not really very helpful and not really very much ready, perhaps. Uh, level four is where it can drive with no driver in defined areas, such as what Waymo is doing only in certain residential neighborhoods and such. And level five is able to drive under any conditions with no driver. That means once we reach level five, I believe the driver's license will probably be obsolete and there will not be even a steering wheel. But the difference between these levels is really what they allow. If they simply remove the steering wheel, nag and driver monitoring camera, it would be a level five system, but not a reliable one. So once they get it, to where it can drive itself around cities with no interaction, you know, with no intervention, they can simply turn off the line of code that requires the driver to interact with the car and it's a level five. They have a way to go before they are ready to start testing with no driver, but we can see the progress to level five in every FSD beta video. Some people say the CAE levels are a pretty bad metric. The sad part is that many people will attack Tesla even if they are 100 times safer. It's the trolley problem, except what with traffic deaths. With full self-driving, there may still be 10 to 100 deaths a year, but the total lives saved by it could be tens of thousands. Um, anyway, Tesla's next level of achievement now should be aiming for level three autonomy in my thinking. What do you think, friends? Now, level three will be a problem if your full self-driving does not recognize a false positive, like driving full force into stationary trucks or emergency vehicles. Tesla has removed radar because it had, according to them, too many false negatives for which they did not have a good solution to. Radar is a redundant system that catches false positives from visual, like driving in stationary vehicles. There are good reasons to have different redundant sensors. Focusing on just one sensor definitely improves that specific sensor but every sensor has its strength and weaknesses and thus you will always have a false positive negative. I'm very confident that Tesla will excel with their visual technology, but I'm also very confident that they will just never really achieve level five until they don't have these redundancy issues fixed. But there is also this view. Kevin Damon com comments on under Electric's article and says Tesla full self-driving system will remain level two 
until the government approves it as a level five and the insurance issues are sorted out keep in mind that there are also insurance issues it has nothing to do with the software and will likely be uh, unofficially a level five for a few years before tesla gets official approval well you understand the insurance companies they're going to be the ones taking the liability and they need to be 100 percent sure and have data so Tesla needs a couple of years data of level five before the insurance can approve it. Also, your insurance company will have to approve your car as a level five. This likely means that only drivers with Tesla insurance will be allowed to use it as a level five for a few years as well. So friends, let me know what your thoughts are about Tesla's uh, zoom out at interaction, which was basically the uh, focus of this video. My next video will be about Tesla's roundabout improvements. It's really cool. I have a cool video and I'm going to share that with you. This is Armin Harayan from torquenews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Have a great day, friends. I'll see you soon in our next report talking about Tesla roundabouts of uh, FSD Beta V10. God bless you. Peace be with all of you and be kind to another.